Ford recently unveiled the new all-electric F-150 pickup truck, the same truck that flexed its muscles after a 1 million pound towing stunt that surely had nothing to do with the epic tug of war against the Tesla Cybertruck. The electric F-150 pickup truck will carry the name Lightning and comes packed with amazing features that its gasoline counterparts don't have. And you won't have to wait for it that long either since it's scheduled to go on sale in mid-2022. But by then, the Ford F-150 Lightning won't be the only electric pickup truck in the market. Its rivals, the likes of Tesla Cybertruck, Rivian R1T, and even the GMC Hummer EV are expected to be in the market. But none of them carry the strength of the F-150 name, which might give the electric truck of America's favorite truck an edge when it comes to market. But Ford has some huge challenges that it will have to face to keep its F-Series sales at around 1 million vehicles in a year after going electric. Additionally, the company might have just triggered an Osborne effect during the unveiling. This is what we will cover today here on EV Source, but first, let's get plugged in. The Ford F-150 has been the most popular choice for most people needing a truck for work, leisure, and everything in between. It's the most trusted truck for generations. But now with the world switching to electric mobility, Ford had to go along with the change or face going out of business. All existing manufacturers are faced with similar challenges. Many have finally started to wake up to this new reality by taking action now. But is it too late when an EV startup Tesla is already so far ahead in terms of manufacturing volume and even technology? While I'm sure there are good arguments to be made on both ends of the spectrum, only time will tell how the giants like Ford, GM, Toyota, and others adapt to the changing environment. Big giant companies with their corporate environment move very slow, while Tesla keeps pushing forward at a blazing speed, innovating at all fronts to make electric vehicles more accessible to people by making them more affordable, while simultaneously making the cars better and safer that come standard with self-driving technology. At this point, Tesla may have taken the lead, but now the fight is for second and third place for which companies will do almost anything to claim for themselves. In the end, all competition will benefit the consumer just like with any other technology. But the way consumers view the Ford F-150 isn't like anything else. It has accumulated a generational value that even Tesla doesn't have yet. With that, together with everything Ford is putting into this new truck, will it be enough to convince the people to switch to an electric version of the most popular pickup truck that sells almost 1 million units every year? Well, let's find out by first taking a look at some of the specs, technology, and design. Before we get started, I'd like to mention a limited time offer to get two free stocks. Yes, free stocks. You'll get one free stock valued up to $250 when you open a new account with Webull. And when you invest at least $100, you'll get another free stock valued up to $1,600. Get them while you can, unless you don't like free stuff. This will also help support the channel while you enjoy your free stocks. The link is in the description below. Now, let's get right into it. The four Ford F-150 Lightning looks almost identical to the existing design of the F-Series, but it does have a few distinct changes that highlight it's an electric variant. The front grille is replaced with a smooth-looking panel since there is no reason for air intake to provide cooling for an inefficient gasoline engine. The taillights have also been upgraded that are distinctly part of the Lightning package. The interior is largely the same aside from a few changes and upgrades, such as the vertical monitor in the middle, which comes with a dial. The truck also supports over-the-air updates, bringing new features and fixing any bugs in the system over time. And because it's an electric pickup truck, the front storage space is larger than most trunks found in an average car. It is a whopping 400 liters of space that can fit two sets of golf clubs easily with easy access to the storage without having to reach over. And of course, there's the standard full-size bed, which comes with an onboard weighing capability to let you know in real time how much weight is on the bed and how it's going to impact the performance and range. All F-150 Lightning variants will come standard with dual motors, all-wheel drive, 563 horsepower, and 775 foot-pounds of torque. This 6,500 pound 
Beast accelerates from 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. The standard range truck will get about 230 miles of range on a single charge, while the extended range variant is expected to get about 300 miles of range. The battery pack size is still unknown, but I'm expecting it to be between 100 to 200 kilowatt hours. The batteries and the motor are safely protected with metal skid plates shielding both the battery and the electric motors from tough terrain. The battery itself is secured inside a waterproof casing surrounded by crash absorption protection. It has been tested at temperatures as extreme as minus 40 degrees to ensure it can perform when needed most. Now all of this talk about its performance and speed are great, but I think most F-150 owners aren't interested in these specs. They're probably going to be more interested in its payload and towing capability. The extended range variant can tow up to 10,000 pounds and carry 2,000 pounds of cargo on the bed. Ford has also added features to assist the driver when attaching, for example, a trailer. These features make attaching something to the hitch effortless and easily managed by one person. The F-150 Lightning also gives you access to all that stored power in various ways. For instance, during a power outage, the truck can power your entire home for up to three days. The industry knows this as vehicle to grid, which hasn't been implemented by everyone, at least not yet. Even though Tesla doesn't currently offer this, I think they should since other companies are coming out with it as the standard. The truck can deliver up to 9.6 kilowatt hour onboard power that's available at 21 charge points around the truck, including 11 outlets to power an awesome tailgate for workers and other professionals using power tools on the go. This is a concept that many people haven't fully understood yet when it comes to electric vehicles. An EV is like a powerhouse on wheels, and I'm sure we will see more of this moving forward as this becomes the new standard. The price is something that surprised me the most since it starts from just under $40,000, putting it in the same price range as the lowest tier Cybertruck. Ford will release four variants of the Lightning pickup truck, the base model XLT, Lariat, and Platinum. The company hasn't released all the details for each variant yet, including the price, but expect the pricing to be more aggressive for higher tiers. Now when it comes to charging, Ford has partnered up with Electrify America to access a large and growing charging network. With a level 3 150 kilowatt charger, Ford claims the truck can be charged from 15 to 80 percent in 44 minutes and gains about 41 miles with a 10 minute charge. The extended range variant is slightly faster with 41 minutes from 15 to 80 percent charge and 54 miles in 10 minutes. The battery tech and charging speed are a few of the main ways an electric vehicle competes in the market, and it appears Ford is serious about battery research and tech. Ford plans to open a global battery center in southeast Michigan, a significant step forward on the automaker's path to one day manufacturing its own battery cells to power a coming wave of electrified vehicles. This leads me to the challenges that Ford is facing. With the launch of Mustang Mach-E and the electric variant of the world-famous Transit Van expected to launch later this year, and now their best-selling pickup truck also going fully electric, the company will face supply chain challenges as their EV sales grow. It's currently unknown how many F-150 Lightnings they will make in 2022, but it's safe to say they won't be reaching 1 million vehicles anytime soon. Ford has confirmed it will get batteries for the F-150 Lightning from SK Innovations, which will be in the form of pouch cells with a nickel manganese cobalt cathode. Furthermore, as Ford's representatives at the launch event claimed, the truck is the best one they've ever made, might not have been strategically the best thing to say. This is the smartest, most innovative F-150 Ford has ever built. The best driving and ownership experience on the planet. This could set in motion the Osborne effect, resulting in the company losing sales of its existing F-Series lineup until the F-150 Lightning starts deliveries. The company could also face losses until they can ramp up the Lightning production to similar levels as its gasoline counterparts. There's a good chance they will get a lot more pre-orders than what they can actually deliver in the next couple of years at least. This is both good and bad. It's good news in the sense that we will know people are excited about the electric pickup truck. But it can be bad news for the company since they may not be able to deliver enough trucks for at least a few years. 
This can reduce the number of F-150s sold and delivered dramatically and it will hurt the company financially. Unveiling the truck so early and giving it the title the best truck they have ever made may bite them back. In fact, the number of pre-orders reported thus far is over 44,000. Compare that to the number of pre-orders the Tesla Cybertruck got within the same time frame, it gives us an idea of the direction this might be headed. Ford also spent a lot on advertising, which Tesla didn't, yet their numbers are still much lower. This of course can still change in the coming days, weeks and months ahead. But keep in mind that the $100 reservation is fully refundable, just like it is with the Cybertruck. So there is a chance that some reservations may not even follow through. But until we get more data and information, we can only speculate how things are going. And if indeed this sets in motion the Osborne effect, we should be seeing the initial signs in the next few months months if their sales for the F-Series start to drop. F-150 Lightning will face formidable rivals once it gets into the market. The main challengers are of course the Tesla Cybertruck and the Rivian R1T. Before I wrap up this episode, let's quickly compare the F-150 Lightning to the Tesla Cybertruck. Both will have a starting price just below $40,000. The EPA range is not that different, although the Cybertruck does have slightly more range. Towing capacity is more or less the same although the Lightning does advertise slightly more towing capacity than the Cybertruck. In this price range, the Lightning does seem to have a better 0-60 to time as well. The Cybertruck comes standard with self-driving technology while the F-150 only offers Blue Cruise, which is only available on highways. But the F-150 Lightning does come standard with a vehicle to grid, which the Cybertruck does not at least not yet. But once we move on to the dual motor variant of the Tesla Cybertruck, things start to change dramatically. You'll get more range, similar acceleration, and similar towing capacity as the F-150 Lightning. The top tier Cybertruck will blow the F-150 out of the water with over 500 miles of range, over 14,000 pounds of towing capacity, and 0-60 to 60 in just under 3 seconds. As of yet, we don't have the price for the F-150 Lightning's other variants, otherwise it would just make more sense to get the Cybertruck to get more value for the price. Overall, I think the F-150 Lightning is a great truck. I wish they would offer more than 300 miles of range, but that could change in the future as their technology gets better. But for the starting price, it's not a bad deal. Add in the incentives and the truck will be even cheaper than its gasoline counterparts. But what do you think about the F-150 Lightning and what are your thoughts about the possible Osborne effect? As always, leave your thoughts down below. And before you go, don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,000 $850 from Weeble. Thank you for watching EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.